Uh, thank you, Moby. Mm -hmm. So, as Sylvester said, mm -hmm. stress is a very big trigger of seizures. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and of course, when you're stressed, you know, the capacity of every part of you mm -hmm. goes down mm -hmm. and that becomes a trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, so the other, the, the, the other one is sleep deprivation. Mm -hmm. And that is a big trigger, you know, for somebody not, not sleep, sleeping adequate, mm -hmm. uh, that becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in actual sense, when you are making a diagnosis, and, and we decide to do an EEG, we try to sleep deprive the person mm -hmm. so that you push the brain to that extent that they, they may have, they may not necessarily have a clinical seizure, but you are p pushing to see the electrical activity becoming abnormal mm -hmm. and that happens. So it is another trigger. Mm -hmm. Another trigger for some people is, is flashing light. Mm -hmm. So, but that is for a certain type of epilepsy, mm -hmm. what we call uh, uh, generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, there are those who are photosensitive. Mm -hmm. So, when you're aware of that, then, of course, one of the things is to try and avoid places where there'll be flashing light. Mm -hmm. It's not every flashing light. It's a certain frequency. Mm -hmm. So, in most cases, the frequency... Uh, 10 and above mm -hmm. we have it at optimal about 16 to 20 mm -hmm. so so one way possibly of course it's difficult to identify what wave, wave i mean what frequency it is mm -hmm. so so that is a, that is also is, an, is, is another trigger mm -hmm. there are people who've got specific triggers uh, like reading mm -hmm. you know they are reading something and they do it for wrong, mm -hmm. they have a, a seizure. Mm -hmm. So once the person uh, realizes that's a trigger, mm -hmm. they wait for a time they have a break. Mm -hmm. We had one case that was very unique, mm -hmm. and that case was that any time that person would go to the to a shower, mm -hmm. uh, if they start having a shower, not no no not, not bath, mm -hmm. uh, so they would have a seizure. Mm -hmm. So so there sometimes there are, there are specific triggers, mm -hmm. but the commonest triggers are those ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, some are good in terms of us doing a diagnosis mm -hmm. because if someone has got a photosensitive epilepsy, when you're doing a test, you use the flashing light, you trigger the seizure, mm -hmm. and you come up with a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. There are those who, when they, they, they learn, they tell themselves, especially children mm -hmm. who are below about seven years, they have a seizure, what you call absences. Mm -hmm. so, so those are some of the triggers. Mm -hmm. But the main ones is, is stress, mm -hmm. sleep deprivation, uh, so those are the main ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for